you can relax. Colleen and Eric have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast. Hello. I didn't know it was Welcome. recording already. It is recording. Okay. Welcome to Relax the Podcast. Here I'm we are. Colleen Stocklin. Your it host. Sounds weird. It sounds cool. I like the way it sounds. I'm Eric Ballinger. That sounds cool too. Yeah. And we're the hosts of Relax the Podcast. This is our 70th episode, I think. Is it really? I think so. Is that a big deal? Is that a number of people? I've, I've, I'm kind of disappointed in us that we didn't make a big deal about a, the 69th episode last week. Ah. Uh, Come on. One. What's wrong with Look us? A missed opportunity. Look at you going blue. Low brow. Blue. Um, yeah, that's what they call that. Oh, I don't know that. Um, yeah, in comedy, when you go like low brow, they call it like. A, I don't like know anything about comedy. Comedian. Yeah, you, yeah, you wouldn't. <laughs> um, I I don't know much about seventieth anniversaries or milestones. We sure we certainly will not know ours because we never remember. It's hard to say seventieth. Yeah, seventieth. Anyway, it's a strange. Congratulations word. on making it to seventy episodes. Watch it not actually even be the seventieth episode. Technically, it's not your seventieth episode, but it is mine. I think there was a couple that you couldn't do because you were working. Uh huh. So just take me down a peg. Mm, I'm not taking you down a peg. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying like, well, I'm you're beating more experienced you. is what so, you're saying. Uh, no, what I'm saying is that you need to do a couple episodes by yourself. Nobody wants that. Everyone we've, we've wants proven that. that. I want that. What would you no. do in an episode by yourself? We've already shown that. We literally did that. I was sitting right here. Yeah. Uh, not much. Oh my God. I would love it. It'd be my favorite episode for sure. Anyway, hello, I do welcome. talk to myself more now being with me, <laughs> with you. <laughs> uh, no, but with being being with like the the twins. Well, I think that's talking to humans. That counts as talking to humans. No, not even not even talking at them or with them. Like I'm just like, oh, yeah. Well, we know Jesus Christ. We know that not you Jesus, talk to yourself Jesus. because. Should we, I don't know if we should get into this right away. We haven't even done our relaxes yet, but maybe. No, should we say that it's going to be a, what, what were you going to say? Okay, about? well, okay. I'll get into this in a second. About you talking to yourself. Remind me to talk about you talking to yourself. Okay. So we're going to talk about who hey, we Eric, think needs to relax. <laughs> that Colleen wants to talk about you talking to yourself. Okay. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, we're going to say who needs to relax, but we have a fun episode. I'm getting a makeover from you guys. You guys gave me a makeover. Yes, last week we said uh, that Colleen only wears her own merch on the top, and then jeans or leggings. On jeans the or leggings on the bottom. And True to form. Well, this is not my own merch. It's not, but it's my T-shirt. Yeah. Which is now your new thing, which is where you. I just wear your clothes. Pull apart my side of the closet to wear my clothes. Yeah. Um. um so you guys are going to give me a makeover. And we're going to read some of your relaxes. We went shopping today. Oh, we're going to talk about because that. Because of you. We need to talk about that. We're really mad There's at you guys. There's a lot to talk about. We're very, that. very angry with no, our I'm viewers and our them. listeners. I am. I'm angry at them. Well, I think it was just really hard for you to have an assignment to go shopping for yourself. It wasn't To that. most people, I feel like that would be very we're fun. We're going to talk about this later. We're going to talk about this later. Okay. But I'm mad at them. And, and, and not because of the shopping, but because of... The circumstances in which we had to be in to be shopping. It was, it was, anyway, we'll get into that. First, let's talk about who needs to relax. Do you want to yeah, go first? Yeah, and we'll also be doing a, a listener relax. Too yeah, as well. we've got quite a few good ones from you guys. So keep that coming, by the way. I love reading your relaxes in the comments. <laughs> um, say who or what you think needs to relax. But for me or for you, who's going first? Can I go first? Please. And this is a comedy podcast. Okay. Yes, it it surely is. Is it? And I had a whole. I I thought I, I don't know. Is it is funny? It, I don't is know. Is this that, funny? I don't know if it's funny. I don't know about that. I think it's just like a lifestyle podcast. I don't think it's that either. I think it's just it? like. What category in net, like if it was if this podcast was on Netflix, what category horror? No, I just realized we've never told them our new catchphrase. Oh yeah, because I was gonna say it's nothing. This category is nothing. Our category is like it's nothing, mm -hmm. and. We have a catchphrase. We're so excited to announce. Can we do this first before you relax? That's fine. It just it doesn't really fit with my relax, but like, <laughs> <laughs> like I understand that. So, like, but we've been wanting to say this for weeks, and we keep forgetting. It's important. Yeah, I'm I'm shocked now remembering that we keep forgetting to say. That. Okay, so no. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Here it is. Wait, should we say it together? 
This nothing. is our new our new slogan. Nothing, nothing is, is possible. possible. <laughs> because I hope that's inspiring <laughs> for everyone hearing it. Nothing is possible because the uh, of the other day it was a few weeks ago we were tr- kind of talking while kids were screaming and running around and one of us asked the I think you asked me a question or I asked you I don't know I don't remember it was so chaotic in the house someone asked someone a question and I think I asked you if you had done something you're like no I I have not done that because I can't get anything done today because and you kind of stopped because to try to like explain but there's and I said because nothing is possible. And you just kind of laughed. And I was like, and we were like, yeah, nothing is. And we just kept saying it about everything. Like, like, nothing oh, is what possible. What if on a t-shirt it just said nothing is possible? Because it's kind of how it feels for us. These because days. We'll, we're a little bit like uh, cynical and facetious. And, you know, it, obviously things are possible. But like when you are a parent of a toddler and two newborn twins, like it feels like nothing. It's possible. possible. And then you have a wonderful friend, Anthony, who like is an amazing graphic designer who was designing merch for us. And he like took the initiative to like put in a kind of like, you know, he made up a slogan Mm -hmm. for our uh, podcast here, which we don't really have. Yeah. And it wasn't like we. And it was great, but it didn't like it it, it didn't like hit the nail on the head. And then we're like, what, what would that even. So then so that concept had never presented itself to us. And they were like, what would our con- what would our slogan even be? And now I'm like, it's nothing. Relax. Is- nothing is possible. And I was like, oh, is that is that amazing? So like- should we start every podcast? I'm like, hi, welcome to Relax, where nothing is possible. I don't know. We need to work. Of on course it, it is. Um, but no. anyway, uh, that's our new slogan. So what needs to yeah. relax for you, lovey? Yeah, I said this wasn't going to fit in. Oh, okay. And I had a really I had a, a long. uh notes to myself about all the instances of things people say when you're walking around oh, yeah. with twins in a stroller because I thought it was very funny that when you walk around with twins in a stroller everyone's got something to say they have to say something they have to they're they are they they absolutely need to say they can't just do the the tight-lipped smile and walk by you they have to actually vocalize it they have to and, and it I, fights their like it fights itself out of their body to say like oh you sure got your hands full. Like they can't not say anything. Everyone does it. And anyone out there who only has one kid at a time, I'm not saying like you can say you have like seven, like someone today saw me with twins and was like, Oh, I have two kids and they're three years apart. Um, it's, they have to say, listen, I had a child in a stroller that we took everywhere. We took Flynn everywhere. No, no, no. I'm just saying, I'm just saying that we took Flynn everywhere in that stroller. People did comment on Flynn. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, mm-hmm. how old is he? Look at him. Oh, he's adorable. Right. People did say stuff like that. Twins? Every, everyone says right. something. Literally everyone who sees that there are twins in the stroller. They have everyone to say ha- something. They, ha- they cannot and control they have to, it. Yes. And I want to talk about this. Please go. Sorry. And I, and I, and I, and I, it's okay. And then I thought that this is a platform. And I absolutely cannot do this podcast today without saying that we desperately as a country need to to regulate guns whoa we're going there sorry i something I, is possible hopefully then i i really cannot after okay. buffalo and now in texas yeah are you kidding me yeah i'm not a social media person Mm-mm. this is our podcast this is our date night mm-hmm and we've been talking about this a lot. It's every day. Mostly all we've been talking about. There is I don't I don't know what to say other than there are amazing I'm not the most educated person on all of this. Like I I wish I, I can direct you to uh Mothers Demand Action or March for Our Lives. There are amazing organ- organizations that are worth donating to to it's it's so ridiculous, man, mm. like that in this country that there are these kinds of guns and that this is a problem. And and it it's different as a parent mm-hmm. um, and as someone who went to public school and when they were a sophomore in high school, Columbine happened and that this many years later. And I'm from Connecticut, where Sandy Hook is like, mm-hmm. I just I I can't. I can't stand it, man. Yeah. Vote if you. 
have the the time and resources to do, donate to organizations that are against gun violence and how they are so available, like these awful, awful weapons that no one is using to protect themselves or to hunt or for anything other than their own. I don't know. Like it's, it, they just should not be available. And, um, politicians who are enabling this should not be governing your local Walmart. Like, are you kidding me? Like, you know what I mean? That these people, these smug mother effers are in power. Mm-hmm. Or I should say for this podcast, mother truckers. Wow. I'm, I'm not, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, I normally wouldn't, but I can't not. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I agree. It's been. I feel like I'm going to cry. Yeah, I know. But like, uh, I, we didn't talk about this before, but like no. I, I couldn't not. Well, we've talked about this, but we didn't talk about yeah. saying it in the podcast. Yeah, I was going to say a jokey thing about which we can talk about later. But like, I think if anyone's listening and anyone has a heart and compassion and common <laughs> sense, Chris, you can believe. <laughs> um, I, th- I think we come on, can this time be different? And can we, can we do some, can we do something different, please? If, and the, it is, it is guns. Guns are the problem. Like seeing the argument of like guns aren't the problem because there's proof. Like you can look at what other countries are doing. It only happens here. It only happens in America. And like, if you just, you just look at the numbers, like it's, it's really, it's really, really sad. Like children, literal children, babies. Like yeah, it's I think really June, June 11th, I think March for, uh, sorry to me. No, no, please. Uh, March for our lives is doing a bunch of walkouts and, and marches. Um, and I will, I will be at whatever one is local to me. Mm-hmm. I cannot not get out and, yeah. and, um, uh, yeah. Be seen at that. Um, We have children that like need to be starting school and uh, I just can't, it's not, I just, and I just it's can't not just believe that. and not yeah, Just even in public spaces, yeah, like thinking of going to the mall, going to exit a movie plans or going to the grocery store. I, I mean, I, any place I go into now, I think about where's the nearest exit. What if a shooting were to happen right now? Where would I go? I think about it every time I go into a grocery store, a target I can't, yeah. and every time I'm in a movie theater, I think about this everywhere I go. Every instance of these, of these so, people involved in this in Buffalo and, and in Texas, like I see, I see mentions and I, and I just break down. And I saw, I saw one that was like a mother was like, I went shopping with shoes with my daughter and she wanted the ones that light up on the bottom. And my thought was that I don't want her to have the light up ones because what if an actor active shooter could in her school could see her better because her shoes light up. And I thought about Flynn and all his light up shoes and it. Wow broke I don't know yeah. all this so yeah if you're listening and it means anything yeah do some yeah yeah it's it's devastating um and obviously it's not like an easy answer and I know that it's not a like just you know like I said like oh it's guns like get rid of all the guns whatever it's not any it's it's anything, any sort of regulation, just anything could help like changing the age background checks, like it just anything. Why is it so easy to get, get one? It's, it's pretty, it's pretty obvious. Anyways, this, we're supposed to be having fun on our date night. We've talked about this enough. So let's talk about what, who do you, <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, I'm like, let's, people well, keep stopping me when I'm pushing the twins yeah, on a stroller. We'll go, back to the, we'll go back to the stroller thing. Um, <laughs> We just thanks for listening. We're idiots. Um, just trying to be okay and be good people. Uh, so I wrote down a bunch of things that people said to me just in the last week. I love how nothing is possible is like the top <laughs> note in uh, my phone. Okay, people, when I take so our schedule uh, as of late in the past few weeks has been that like you put Flynn to bed, and when you do that, I take the twins. Are you good? <laughs> Yeah, uh, I take the twins for a walk in in the stroller around our neighborhood, mm-hmm. and like we were saying, people gutturally need to say something. They can't do as for me as as a male. It it is it is a tight lipped smile as they walk. Are you crying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 
<laughs> do you know this smile the yes that people do like as you walk by mm -hmm. the smile and the nod good evening good afternoon or whatever mm -hmm. um you wrote down that people say good evening to you? No, I'm saying they they would normally. Oh. Or like if they had to say something. But now with twins in a stroller, the I think because people they are they feel bad for you or or something, they feel like they need to absolutely say something. And what is the number one thing they'll say? They say it looks time. like you got your hands full. Looks like you got your hands full. Yes. I've heard this so many times that now when someone says, as I'm walking twins in a stroller, looks like you got your hands full, I used to go, <laughs> yep, sure do. Now not, now I literally roll my eyes and do not respond. Nuh uh. Like I I, I like aggro <laughs> aggressively. I'm like <laughs> and keep walking. Like I'm so over you got your hands full. I do not accept it. Do never say that to me. Do not tell me I look tired. I know. Do not tell me, well, oh, you look like you got your hands full. <laughs> uh, you have a really funny story about that with, with a, a police officer, right? Yeah, a police officer. <laughs> We're, Flynn and I are on a walk and the, I took Flynn and the babies on a walk. And I was um, holding Flynn's hand and pushing the stroller with the twins in it. And there was, <laughs> oh, uh, Eric's vomiting. So I let him do that while I tell the story. So, oh my God. <laughs> happening so anyway <laughs> you never swallowed wrong i i do all the time whoa anyway um oh my god there's a lot this episode's already wild so we see a tow truck and if there is any sort of truck at all when you are somewhere with flynn he has to scream about it tell you what it is and you have to also in response Scream about it and get excited. And if you do not, <gasps> Flynn will scream your name. You have to say, wow. You have to say, oh my gosh, wow, it's a fire truck. Or like, you have to respond. Cause if you just go like, yeah, I see it. Like, he'll be like, but you didn't say, wow. Like you have to be excited with Flynn. So anyway, we're walking and we see a big flatbed tow truck about to tow a minivan. And there was a police car kind of blocking traffic so that this tow truck could do what it needed to do. And there was a policeman sitting in the police car with the window rolled down. And so as we walk past, he kind of starts waving at Flynn and Flynn waves back. And I said to the police officer, I could tell he was about to say something to me. And I, you know, said something before he could get it out of his mouth. I said, you're his hero because Flynn was so excited to see a police officer. He loves police cars. He loves if it's a fireman, they make, a policeman, they light up, they make loud noises. Man. Anyone, I understand the appeal. Yeah, as anyone a kid. who drives any sort of truck or vehicle that Flynn is excited about, they're his hero. So I said, "You're his hero." To the police officer, and the police officer said, "Looks like you, you're my hero. Looks like you got your hands full." <laughs> like, like I cut off on accident. I interrupted his. Looks like you got your hands full line. That he was so right. excited to say. That's what you said to me. You're like he was loaded up. With, he was ready with, to say. With, it, you got your I hands threw full. him off. Yeah, I threw him off by saying you're his hero because then he was like, "Looks like it. You're my hero. Looks like you got your hands full." <laughs> it was sweet. <laughs> anyway, um, well, I so I walked past an, an older couple the other night, and she goes, "Looks like you got your hands full." And I and I, I guess I I was in need of therapy at that point. And so instead of just being like, uh huh, I said, yeah, my wife twins run in her family, but she didn't get to, she never told me. And this elderly woman yelled back, that's grounds for divorce. <laughs> and Eric told me that, by the way, Eric was like, someone saw the twins tonight and said, I should divorce you. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nice. Um, what a blessing. What a blessing. That was more when I was pregnant. What but a blessing. You know what? No, I hear no, it all the time. You know what? You know when they say it? They don't say it when they see you have twins. They when hear you hear it when it's you have a boy, boy and a girl. girl. Boy and a girl. Oh, oh what, a blessing. what a blessing. Because if you're out there and you're they twin go, oh, of the same gender. A boy and a girl? What a blessing. Yeah. If but, it was boy and boy. Nah, not a blessing. Nightmare. Girl and girl. Not a the blessing. The shining. Yeah. Not a blessing. Only it's a blessing if it's a boy and girl. It's so weird. It always happens. We've never talked about that, but you knew exactly where I was going because every time they see you, that it's a boy and a girl. That's when they say that's yeah. a blessing. Uh, and then must be tired. Oh, you must be tired. Yeah, must be tired. Of course. Um, and then I haven't told you about this one yet, but like I was walking the twins two nights ago and this, uh, this like bro dad who mm -hmm. lives in one of the houses over mm -hmm. here was coming back home from, uh, I think CVS or something because he had a bag with him, but he was on his longboard skateboard. Okay. Like just totally like, 
middle aged, but like maintaining it on his like longboard, all yeah. for, all for it. But as he rode past me, in the he was coming from behind me in the stroller. He just goes, "Oh, bro, I remember that age. Wish, uh, oh, like you know, like enjoy it, man, because mine are older now. Like, oh, like, like a lot of people say that. It, it, you know, it, it gets harder. Like, you know, oh, I wish they were still that age." And then as he came around me, he saw that they were baby twins mm -hmm. and not like of different mm -hmm. ages. Mm -hmm. And I go, oh, yeah. And he goes, oh, yeah, mine are, mine are four and ten now. And it's, and it's hard because of this and then whatever. And then, and he's then slowly realizing that I have baby twins with me. And I, and I respond like, oh, yeah, we got a toddler at home and, and these are our six-month-old baby twins. And he goes, oh, twins. Yeah, I don't know. And I, was, I go, because I'm so despondent now mm -hmm. for all these reactions. I can't, I, I'm not a socially active person. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm in fact, socially anxious as we've described mm -hmm. on this podcast in depth. And so I just go, yeah, above your pay grade and kept walking. <laughs> <laughs> like I was a total dick about it. Love like, me. like, you don't know, man. Like you don't, you have no idea. Oh God. Love me. Um, well, you don't know, talk to me. You don't you don't know. Well, you you know who does but know. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> we need to say thanks to our first is it sponsor. Warby it is Warby Parker. Let's <laughs> say thanks to Warby Parker. Glasses to hide my shame. Warby Parker is our first sponsor of the day. And boy, are we excited. Is Warby a person? I sure hope so. I wonder like on the the list of like the top names that people name their children if Warby is up there. I feel like I'm kind of mad we didn't name one of our kids Warby. But anyway, Warby- It's catchy. It is. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes, eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can shop with them online or in stores. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses, which is totally a steal. You can try Warby Parker's free home try-on program. You can order five pairs of glasses to try on at home, Fall free. There's no obligation to buy. It ships free and includes a prepaid return shipping label. So this is very, very exciting, you guys. You can try it. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free. Like I said, for free at warbyparker.com slash relax. And we did it. Um, well, Eric did it. And I I'm did. excited. I'm now I'm jealous and I want to do it. So there's this try on, like at home try on kit. And a cool quiz. Yeah, so I took the quiz. Uh, first asked me, uh, you know, the shape of my head. The shape of your head? What would you say, your face? Would you say I'm perfect? Na narrow, oval? I would say you're perfect. What did you they put? Had, they I had don't know. like little illustrations and I picked one of them. That what did I you thought, pick? I'm curious. I, I, not, I don't know what it said. What did you I pick? I can't remember. Sorry, just a minute. And then what kind of glasses frames you liked? And I picked, uh, I tend to buy more circular. I'm a glasses yeah. aficionado, sunglasses yes, at least. you are. Um, I do have good vision, so I don't need prescription glasses, but uh, I do not like screens mm -mm. or, and I like hiding. Mm -hmm. So um, I sometimes like wearing regular glasses, even though I don't need them. I, I yeah. think that's okay. I think that's, I think that's uh, great. I think you look very good in glasses. Acceptable. Um, I'm and, excited to and see so you I took in the them. Quiz and then I picked my five frames, two of them being sunglasses uh, and three of them being, they look pretty Cutesy. cool. Oh, I those think. look so cool. Yeah. I can't wait to see you in them. I'm so excited. How um, easy. I didn't do the uh, little test thingy. How was it? Was it super, easy, super easy. And then they're going to send me these five frames. And if I love all of them, I will keep all of them. I'm sure you will. All the money. I'm uh, sure yeah, and then it referred will. to me as like if I needed an eye exam, like and I thought about I me mean, because like I don't know. Yeah, perhaps we do need. I don't know, but I'm excited, and I think I should do it next because I love wearing glasses too, even though I don't need them. Um, but I like wearing them to hide my face, and also mm -hmm. I think they're just cute. I think glasses make everyone look cuter. So if you guys want to try it out, you can try five free pairs of glasses at home for free at WarbyParker.com/relax. Go check it out. Oh, um, there's the classic relax yawn. I'm tired. It's late tonight, guys. We're doing this late. It's almost 11. Did you we do your relax yet? We didn't do my relax yet. You want to do it? Yeah, but I don't want to talk about it too much because I'll just get mad. <laughs> I guess that's what this all this podcast is, is it's talking about things that annoy us. But I could keep going on about the like twin thing because ugh, I guess oh, I could if talk you about could, it. please do. I could because for uh, they everyone ev everyone has to say something and it's so sweet everyone's so nice yeah i didn't mean it to come across that way i like i appreciate it and i get why you feel like you need to say something but like to me as tired as i am yeah it's, physically dealing with it and it is so my life many people came up to me today yeah so many people 
came up to the babies and talked to the babies. So many people. Everyone was in their faces and they were screaming. It was anyway, not the people, the babies. Well, Wesley was screaming. Anyway, we'll get to that. My relax. We'll talk about my relax. My relax is the doctor's office. We four, five, five times this five week. Five times this week we were at the doctor's office. <clears throat> now, this was normal for us when I was pregnant. We were at the doctor like every freaking day when I was pregnant. No, but for still me. once a week. And, which is a lot. But, which is which is a lot. Especially but for, me, for hypochondriacs who haven't been the, to the doctor in 10 right. years, respectively. But for, but for me, I didn't care. I was never stressed about it. I was just going to like, oh, I got to go to the doctor. And everything they said to me about how my body was falling apart, I was like, all right. Mm-hmm. You know, it was miserable and I was in pain, but it was just kind of like, oh, we're going to the doctor. When it's your kids, it's so stressful to know like, the babies are getting a vaccination or something, you know, like, and are they going to be sore? Is, are they going to get, are they going to be affected by it? Like, are they going to be, how are they going to react to it? How, you know, whatever, or they're getting a checkup. What What's if they find this? something wrong? Yeah, there's always um, something. There's always something. Or, you know, we talked about it on my vlog a little bit, but like Flynn stepped on a piece of glass and we kept going to the doctor for that. And like, is he going to be okay? How's he going to react? Like, you know, it, it's so, str- it's so stressful. We could do an entire podcast on this little, like, one millimeter piece of glass that oh looked like God. a we literally looked for like days. a shark tooth necklace. I still, I still think about it. I still think about it on every hour at least. I think we still need to. We we got we for got anyone it. who didn't see the vlog, um, which is probably a lot of you, honestly, because who watches all the vlogs? But there was a a piece of glass, a tiny, 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 teeniest, tiniest little shard of glass stuck in Flynn's foot. We did at absolutely everything to get it out we couldn't the doctors tried everything to get it out we went to Twice. multiple different doctors um we went through all of it all the and then it was all. like do or die you're gonna have to go to the emergency room to have them like a specialist someone who specialized and, take it and out. was really good at and this we were like stuff. we can do this and we did it in the middle of while the night he's sleeping while he was sleeping and we did it and we did it teamwork did it and it was like the most glorious moment probably of my life i think our best parenting moment honestly in total like could be on par with like the day Flynn was born. Like the most euphoric I felt and confident as yeah. a parent was when we, as a team, got that piece of glass out of his foot. I really like, do. Like, like truly, it was right? days and days and days of him. We were like, we tried we were so like, it was, it was the best feeling I've felt in a very like long time. Like we won the world series. We were like hugging, kissing oh, was, and high-fiving. It, it was, was amazing. amazing. In silence. Cause he was still sleeping. Right. So it all. But because of this piece of glass and because of multiple other things that we're not going to get into, we have to keep going to the doctor. And I'm so freaking sick of taking our kids to the doctor. So anyway, I don't have too much to dive into on this topic. I just wanted to say I'm so sick of the doctor. I'm so grateful for the doctors. I am so grateful for them and, and how wonderful they are. We love them. So, all the doctors that take care of our kids. Um, and I'm so glad we have them and that they can keep our kids safe, but I'm so sick of taking the kids to the doctor. I'm like, we didn't have to take the kids to the doctor one day. It was Friday. It was the only day we didn't have to. And we were so stoked. We were like, we don't have to go to the doctor today. This is the best day of our lives. I know. It, wait, we have, I, I remember feeling like, wait, and talking to you, like, wait, we have no doctor's appointments tomorrow. Yeah. It's glorious. Anyway. So it's not a long, it wasn't a long relax. It just, I was less. This week, I was thinking of what happened this week. And I was like looking at my calendar. I was like, all I did this week was go to the doctor. So that was my relax. Every single day, starting on a Saturday, Mm -hmm. like Saturday through the next Friday. Mm -hmm. I don't know when your weeks start, like what day. Oh, we're not getting into that. Um, But every day of the week. Anyway, so now's now's the fun stuff. Okay. I want to, I want to, let's do a makeover. Wait, should we do a listener relax first? Do you want to do that? Or do you want to save that? Um... Yeah, what do we, what do you want to do? You decide. You want to do a listener relax? I have a bunch saved on my phone. You want to do the makeover at the end? Let's shout out a listener and say like, okay. "This is your relax." Okay. And then we'll get to you changing your outfit because. Okay. Because uh, then I'm going to bed. Because <laughs> so. you're going to bed, and also our our listeners are now your. Uh, They're my stylists. Your your personal stylist. Okay, yeah. so I, I I screenshotted quite a few that I really liked, <clears throat> but here we go. Um, I really liked this one and I agree with it strongly. And your toes are on me and they who's need it, to not who's be. Who's it from? Um, who needs to relax is Eric always still putting his toes on me every episode when I, when he knows and they're on I me again. Two swivel chairs. How do, are you swivel not, chairs? Are you not swiveling all the time in your swivel chair? <laughs> I, I couldn't be further from you. Toe wise. 
But why are your toes on me? Anyway, I love you. I, I, I love like your I, toes. I just don't want them on I me. I don't cross, like toes on I me. I can cross this way. Yeah, let's do that. Anyway, um, <laughs> <laughs> here we go. You're going to like this one, I think. You'll have a lot to say. We've never done this one, and it's a good one. Ananya, I hope I said your name right, said. Hi, Ananya. Um, since Let I didn't get to, Ananya. Since I didn't get to be a part of this episode, I'll try again. Sweating emoji. Sorry, Ananya. We liked it this week. My relax is dust pans need to relax. They never really collect everything because of its bumpy thing in the front. So I always end up shifting the last bit under furniture. And this. I like this, the specificity of this. Me too, because Ananya. it's, I really, it, it, I never thought about how much I hate dustbin, dustbins until I read that. And I was like, yeah, I hate dustbins. They don't work. I, it seems like the whole business of collecting dust is like, we know we're not going to get it at all. Like some of it's going to be There's under furniture. There's got to be uh, a dustbin that like actually works. You mean that like against, against the ground? It's Well, like I get that like you're not going to get up everything. Like I understand that like you're not going to get it all up. Like, okay, you but can't I'm, have some. Of course, but, but I'm full for some. the last sweep is always under furniture. Or under a rug or like, yeah. Under, what, are you going to lift up the end of a rug and sweep it under it? You've done that? <laughs> yeah. You've never done that. A hundred percent I have. 100%. She's never, ha I've never seen, like the, the image in my brain of Colleen Ballinger holding a broom does not exist because I've You're never so seen annoying. you hold a broom. That I've never so seen annoying. you hold a broom. You're so annoying. You with a broom and a dustpan is not something I can even like fathom because I've never <laughs> so seen it stupid. and could never imagine I've never it. seen you with a dustpin. Dustpin, dustpin. Oh, get over Literally, yourself. Literally, we have one and our son has one as a toy. And yeah, I'm walking he uses around with it all, all the time. time. He loves yeah. it. But, but. It's a really good relax because it's so specific and it is yeah, so frustrating like when you like you have to because you have to do the you know the technique mm -hmm. you brush it in and then there's like the line of dirt that like hit totally. the edge and, yeah. and so then you go the other side of it you like to the line you know so you like you really make a line close. you're like you're really choking up on that broom handle like yeah well, I'm gonna get it all <laughs> and then you get it so you make a line of dust or dirt uh -huh. and then you take your dustbin and you you turn it so you're making a t essentially with a line of dirt and the S dustbin listen to her because speaking as and someone who's to, never actually experienced this, are you kidding am i I've not explaining i've never seen you do this in your life but you don't know what i'm talking about are you I, joking i do but i feel like you must have seen it in like a reality about? tv no, show i know like, this from doing this okay and then but that's the best technique because then you you've at least, swept with a broom and a I dustbin really punch you in your esophagus stop Yes, I have multiple times, probably just as much as you. Okay, can I ask this question? What? In our home, mm -hmm. what's in the line? What do you see in the line? When you picture the line of dust that didn't go into the dustpan, what do you picture in it? Hair. What kind of hair? Cat hair. Uh huh. And Dog what else? Hair, my hair. Uh huh. And dirt. Uh huh. Um, glitter. Glitter. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Somehow, there is glitter. What do you mean in somehow? All the dust I'm in this Miranda house. Sings. What do you mean somehow? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, there's always glitter in the dust in the dust. You are pans. Is it pans or bins? Isn't a bin a, to a trash can? I've it heard the term pan. dust bin and dust pan. I equally. think it's dust pan. Maybe I don't know. Anyway, a, a bin typically would I think would be described as like a, a trash, as like a trash can. can. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, I'm sorry I was saying bin this whole time. You had a few. Is there more? Yeah, there's lots. Um, Let's do another one. Okay, here's another one. My relax for the week. This is from Emma Kate Best. Those snack slash product bags that have the part where you can rip the top off and they reseal on the inside, like a bag of pistachios is her example. Mm -hmm. The top part literally never rips off correctly and you're forced to go use scissors to get the bag fully open. Love you guys. Was it Emma? Emma, yes. Thanks, Emma. Um, absolutely. So, okay. I so many times in frustration have cut them and then cut off the resealable part. Have you ever done that? Of course. Yeah, of course. It's infuriating. Um, but they, but like what comes to mind is those carb balance wraps. So they're like, oh, yeah. they're like tortilla, tortilla. wraps, yeah. but they're like, they say carb balance because like that means well, anything healthier. They're all healthier. the same. Those tortilla bags are all the yeah, same. Yeah. But then they do not reseal no matter what you do. <laughs> yeah, no, they it's don't. like the most absolute, like, <laughs> <laughs> it, you have to get it, it like perfect. Work. Like I've never squeezed no, you know anything <laughs> harder than like the top of those. Like it's like it's not a Ziploc Wait. bag. It's like because it's like whatever it is. But like I've I've 
I roll it up to get all the air out and I squeeze it so <laughs> hard and never, and then I try and realign. I'm just going like this, like over and over, just like adjusting my fingers, like <laughs> thinking like it's my fault. I don't think it's my fault. I think it's the manufacturer's fault. You know they don't reseal. But you know what? It like, does what not reseal. Is when you're confident that you got it sealed. And then you and go then back to it and they're all like, just like disc <laughs> rocks, like in a bag. No, like in that moment when you're like, you like even hear it click in and you're like, yes. And you like seal it. And you do the test where you like adjust, you like shift (laughs) it and it just immediately falls. Yeah. Uh Oh, so frustrating. Those are the worst. Another, another good one. Another uh, specific one. Those are good. But I have to say. These are better than what we're coming up with. But I have to say, I appreciate the the seal when they do work because I hate bags of chips that just open and don't have a reseal. Mm Because it's like, I never have a chip clip. I don't have a chip clip I anywhere. Wonder, I wonder, you know, like the zip, the Ziploc ones where it's just like a piece of plastic and you like literally zip it across. Yes. What's that? Is that called something? Other I don't than know. It's zip- like a zipper. Yeah. Like, can we, is that trademarked? And we can't, know. can we put that on all those bags? Yeah, that'd be or so Or is nice. that like, is that not public domain yet to where it's like they own that and so they won't let anyone else know. do that? Because if, I feel like they should just as like a public service allow other companies to put yeah. that on their bags because it'd be much easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean- I think that sounds great. Let's make that happen. I don't know how, but I think we should. Um, well, we just said it, so maybe it'll happen. Now. Maybe it'll happen. Yeah. Um, they listen to us. I want to say a quick story about Flynn. So my brain's kind of all over the place. I do have more relaxes, and we are going to do the makeover, but I wanted to say something before I forget it that Flynn did tonight that was really funny. Because usually this time of night, Eric and I just basically talk about funny things Flynn said. So I, I was putting Flynn to sleep. Or funny screams the baby did. Yeah. No, Babies. there's there's never really anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm putting Flynn to sleep tonight and he was in such a good mood. He had a great day. Flynn was like really lovely and happy and just so funny today. And I'm putting him to sleep and he's just talking a mile a minute, like just talking about everything. He's talking about crabs and bugs and cars and just food. He's talking about everything. He's just going a million miles a minute. And he's laying down next to me and he's talking about stuff. And then he sits up. Carbs? Cars. I thought said carbs. No. Um, so he's sitting up and he's, so he's sitting, he sits up and he starts like bouncing like this. He's like bouncing. He's like, hey mama, remember when I was so tired? Do you remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, when? And he's like, Today, I was so tired. I was even yawning. I yawned at dinner such a big yawn because I said, oh, I'm sleepy. I need to go to bed. And so then I got so tired even in the bath. I was yawning in the bath. And the whole time, he's on his knees when he's supposed to be laying down going to sleep, bouncing as he's yeah. telling me this, like the most energy he's ever had in his life. And I was like, wow. I was like, yeah, you are tired. He's like, I'm so tired, mama. I was yawning even in the bath. I need to go to sleep and take a nap. But he was like so hyper and it was so funny to hear him talk about how exhausted he was and how tired he was when he was not like he was like wide awake wired so hyper and i was like is this because he hears you and me talk about how tired we are all the time Mm. that he was like trying to tell me how exhausted he was like talk about how big he's tired all the time but he was like jumping on the bed talking about how he needed to go to sleep yeah he's so funny he's he's really good with language and linguistically like he's i think ahead of the curve when it comes to yeah speaking what he's feeling and he's in a really fun time now where he's he will tell a full story Mm -hmm. in the most delightful amazing way but yeah he was really great today and happy today and fun today and there's one other story that i feel like we have to tell them and you might say no. So you might get cut off right here and not hear the story if Eric says no. But no. Do you know what it's going to be? No. So it's one more Flynn story and then uh, then we'll get uh, we'll move on. So Flynn, we have just found out. And this has to do with what we were talking about earlier, how Eric talks to himself. You're about to do a bug inventory? No, we're not doing a bug inventory. Eric talks to himself. And this has been proven because Flynn, we just found out, thinks our cat's name is not what the cat's name is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can so do, you can Flynn, say this, yeah. Flynn, okay. Flynn, uh, we have a cat named Daisy. But Daisy is her last name. Eric does not like the cats. No, I love the cats. Oh, po- I, don't act like you like I them now. I care for the cats. I love the cats. I give the cats treats. I pet Eric, the cats. Eric, you hate the cats. Does Gus like you? 
No, he hates me. Does he like me? He does. Yeah. Does when when I'm alone with Gus? Does, does he... Daisy like you? Yeah. Daisy hates you every night. Daisy after only the comes up to me. To, go to sleep. I sit on the couch, and Daisy, wherever she is, is is existing in her house, immediately pops up from nowhere, jumps up, and is purring. And and such a lie. That's up. not true. That's actually true. <laughs> you know that's true. Well, anyway, every night, every single night. But you cannot look me dead in the eye. And tell me seriously that you love those cats. We have two cats. Look at me. Tell me you two love those cats. Two out of both cats love me. Tell it's me, not- do you love the cats? Look me in the eyes and tell me without lying. Say, I love our cats. I love the cats. Tell me. Say, I can't it. say it. You can't. You I hate can't. them. No, I don't. Hate I don't them. hate them. I just, I, 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 you know what? I do actually love them. No, you but do. But I okay. also hate them. You Can I love hate, hate them? them? Sure. Because Daisy is disgusting and her hair goes <laughs> everywhere. Um, and Gus destroys everything. Mm-hmm. Like literally the crown mold, every piece of crown molding yeah, in this he's destroyed. big house. He has destroyed every piece of furniture, every rug he destroys. And he's also aggressive and violent and, and weird. Mm-hmm. He's kind of, he's, I think Gus is, is, <laughs> is um, weird. Yeah. He has issues, man. Yeah. Like, like could be diagnosed issues. And, and, and Daisy has no brain and is just a sweetheart. But like in doing so, like I. <laughs> so anyway, it bothers me. So anyway, but I do love he them. does not like the cats. He's lying, but he does not like Daisy so much that he has never referred to Daisy as Daisy. He has always referred to Daisy under his breath when not he's consciously wh- when he's if she runs in front of him when he's walking, if she's on the countertop, Daisy's he pushes her, her last off. name. Her first he calls name is. Her Bleep this out, Chris. He calls her F- Daisy. <laughs> yeah, it's her first so name. So every time he sees Daisy, he's like, oh, F- Daisy. Kitchen every, counters. Everywhere. Every, he's never just been like, oh, Daisy, come here. He's always F- Daisy. So the other day, Flynn said F- Daisy. Oh, we got to uh, let's get fucking F- Daisy off the kitchen counter. And but he didn't say it as if as an expletive. He said it as if he thought it was, it was her, her name. Her first name. Yeah. And Eric said, oh, Flynn, that's that's actually not a nice word. I'm so sorry if you've heard me say that. We're not supposed to say that word. If I ever say that word, can you please tell me I get and help me? Out. And I'll yeah. get a timeout. Like, I'm not supposed to say that word. Like, Grown I'm so sorry. Grown-ups can get timeouts too, And you know, he, we, he explained to him that, like, this is a bad word we don't say. And I'm so sorry you've heard me say that, blah, blah, blah. And um, and Flynn was like, oh, no, Daddy, I didn't say a bad word. I, what did he say to you? He, it's, no, I didn't, I didn't say a bad word. I was just trying to get... Daisy off the kitchen counter. <laughs> <laughs> so, he really thinks it's her name. He thinks our he cat's thinks- name is <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> um, so, who's paying for this? Okay, let's see things to our next sponsor. <laughs> our next sponsor is, of course, Framebridge. We love Framebridge. Oh my gosh. Let's talk Look about it. Look at my it. walls. Look at my face and how happy it is to talk about frame bridge look at look at our walls though they're frame bridged frame bridged frame bridge lovey let's talk about frame bridge you guys we've talked about it before we're going to talk about it again this amazing service called frame bridge make it super easy and affordable like pictures or they actually frame whatever you want right you had like uh i don't know frame anything whatever an umbilical cord it's nothing to do with bridges i had a friend who did that once she framed her kids umbilical cord she like dried it i subconsciously chose to ignore that statement and move on i'm just saying i don't know that they would do that but they'll frame they might i don't know i haven't asked use our code see if it anyway umbilical cords (laughs) we love them we've been using them before they sponsored us because uh we think they're awesome and father's day is around the corner so eric plug your ears so just so you know i fully expect a framed something from framebridge okay good you've said it like in because it's the perfect gift lovey okay it's the perfect gift and select select gifts ship the next day Mm -hmm. so i could even order like the day before father's day (laughs) if i wanted to Probably not, but close enough. Just go to framebridge.com and upload your photo or they'll send you packaging to safely mail in your physical pieces. You can preview your item online in dozens of frame styles and gallery wall layouts. You can choose your favorites or get free recommendations from their talented designers. The experts at Framebridge will custom frame your items 
and deliver your finished piece or pieces directly to your door, ready to hang. Instead of the hundreds you'd pay at a framing store, their prices start at $39 and all shipping is free. Plus, my listeners will get 15% off their first order at framebridge.com when they use my code, RELAX. Order online at framebridge.com. Our code. Our code. Excuse me. It's our code. Relax. I like that. Order online at framebridge.com or shop by a Framebridge store to work with a designer in person if you're in New York, D.C., Atlanta, Philly, Boston, or Chicago. Yeah, it's a great Father's Day gift. It's a great any gift, honestly. Like, we love it. There's currently a Framebridge photo, Two a piece of, of art on our wall in our, wall our, our main dining room. Our main dining room. Um, art that they're beautiful, and we're going to get some more, and you should too. Get started today. Frame your photos or send someone the perfect gift. Go to framebridge.com and use promo code RELAX to save an additional 15% off your first order. Framebridge.com, promo code RELAX. Once again, just go to framebridge.com, promo code RELAX. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you guys, we just took a little break, and I'm laughing so hard at Eric because we are talking about you just snorted <laughs> because I was laughing so hard because we we're talking about Flynn. Um, <laughs> I said Flynn needs That's been so, trained. Of course. But I Flynn, I was like, oh, Flynn had to poop tonight. And he was talking about us. So I said he was farting in the bath a lot. And he said he had to poop, but he didn't want to. And, <laughs> and I was like, but he didn't. <laughs> I said, but he didn't want to go poop. And Eric said, that's surprising. <laughs> I'm so tired. Eric said, that's surprising because he's been ripping. What do you It's been ripping logs. <laughs> he said he's been ripping <laughs> logs lately because he has been like pooping like crazy in the potty. But yeah, I'm so proud of him. <laughs> like, too. I feel like uh, but, my brother should insert like applause. Yeah. Applause sounds for us. He's been peeing in the potty for a very long time, but the poop has been a thing. Anyway, we're not going into that. That's not why I'm talking about this. I'm Potty talking about this. hard, man. Because, I feel like no, you... but it was because the reason I'm bringing it up at all is because you were so making me laugh. <laughs> he said, I was looking at his poop last night and I was like, what? <laughs> What's wrong with me? How are you getting that? And I'm like shitting ropes over here. <laughs> Because, because it is it is kind of shocking to see the poops that come out of him because they're like to see like a, hel- like a, a healthy tea a healthy adult tea crap <laughs> you're gonna call it a crap I wouldn't call it a crap I'd call it a tea what's a tea turd come on <laughs> oh my whereas God. we're both these like anxious like, like mental <laughs> I- like adult idiots that we're just like only don't know having- how to poop normal we right, have only yeah. anxious poo. Our son is just like, what are you talking about? Like, this is what a healthy turd looks like. Right, yeah. <laughs> but like, but it's shocking every time because he's so tiny. <laughs> and every time he poops and he says he I poops, know, I look at the toilet and I'm, and I'm always like, what's this gonna cute little toddler poop going to look like? And I'm always blown Jealous? away. <laughs> well, I'm just like, it's very impressive. I know, yeah. Those were the days, I guess. <laughs> I guess, but like, it's weird to me that like poops don't like change with like your size. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like you would think a tiny toddler would have a tiny toddler poo. Like why are his poos no, bigger than is, mine? This is like like you walk into a truck stop bathroom and like someone before <laughs> you forgot to flush and you're like, whoa, that, <laughs> that was... <laughs> Oh my god. Anyway. Yeah. Um Good we were him. we were not gonna talk about poop, guys, but you were talking about it while we took it. a break and I was laughing so hard. I was like, we gotta talk about this. Anyway, okay. Um, let's do a little bit of a makeover here. Okay, so first let's talk about the experience. Okay, so last week And this is why I'm mad at you guys, but go ahead, you you start. Last week I got I don't know how it came up, but like we discussed how you only wear uh, these days, your own merch on the top and then some sort of mom jean, high waisted mom jean or leggings yes. on the bottom. When I pose the question, and you pose what the do question, people. What do, yeah, what, you don't know what to wear. Like, well, what, do what, people, do people, what do I. What, it's not old. There's like old lady clothes. And I and could relate little... because I was like, what am I supposed to wear? Right. You know what I mean? Because now I have three kids. Am I supposed to dress different? Um, right. And so we asked uh, anyone listening to this, if there is anyone, to send. Uh, to the Relax Podcast Twitter or are in the YouTube comments, mm-hmm. outfit suggestions. And I looked at Twitter for photos. 
And I got <clears> some <throat> suggestions. And so Eric actually picked one of the photos out. I was like, I like this. Let's try this out. Yes. Yeah, so, um, and so we went and try. Okay. So we'll get to the clothes in a second. But today, because of you, we had to leave the house. All five of us, table oh, for five. A lot of people. Um, and go to a, a store. A one singular store. Um, to find only for you a specific outfit. Now we and, have. Oh man, were our hands full. We, we have left the house, obviously, so many times, all the time, as a family of five. We, we try not to because it is not fun to go anywhere with the twins yet. Like, it's just not. Like, it was when. It, I don't <sighs> think we've ever gone honest clothing shopping though well, that, that's what i was gonna five. say is that we do go places all the time with the five of us and it's things for the kids so they're either entertained or the focus is on them or you know it's for them we go places for them we go somewhere to get them a toy or to them to the doctor There's or them so to the to grandma's house here, yeah. or we the only time we go anywhere all <clears> five of us is if we have to or want to for them if other than that, we just don't do it. Well, uh, one of us stays home with Flynn or the twins or something, or, or we take, you know, make it make it just, it, it, we've never done this. We've never done so all we five went, of us go yeah. somewhere to do we an to errand a, for an adult. But, but for this, we were like, how is the easiest we can do this? Cause we all have to go. It's just us today. Mm -hmm. So we went to a department store at the mall and mm -hmm. we're like where it has like its own entrance. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was, it was a nightmare. A total, absolute fever dream. It was nightmare. a um, nightmare. It was so double stroller for the twins. Well, Flynn, hand and holding hands. Wild and, animal. Wild animal. Wild animal. And, and because there's no toys in there. It's there's just no toys. Women's, it was so boring for him. It was just women's him. clothes. And he was imagine a three year old boy like, and it's just women's clothes. Like he literally was. Doing the things you expect them to do, like hiding as in the dresses, did, like you hide hiding in the middle in the of the racks. You know what screaming I mean? Screaming like, and chasing and running around, and and he was being good. He wasn't like being a brat or anything. He was great. like he was with us the whole time, and he was giggling. Like people were passing him, laughing at him because he was just he was loud, but he was giggling and having fun. But he also is not used to like none of them are used to just not all the attention on them if we're with them. The baby so the is fact that ten we were, minutes from nap time, like what would be their nap time? So well, first of all, getting in the car. So they had just woken up from a nap, and we're like, okay, we're gonna go to the store now. This is our opportunity. They just woke up from a nap. We have like a small window here of their wake time. But then it took so us forty minutes to get longer. Into the car. It took an hour to get into the car because we had to pack their stuff and pack Flynn's stuff and make bottles and and change my clothes because I was still in my pajamas at this point. Like it was like you know, it was mostly you, but yeah. What was mostly me? I, I, at risk of my own physical safety, I will say that most of the, of the delays were. What was I doing? Oh my God. Packing so the scared. diaper bag for I'm so our children right now. and packing no, you're, food and snacks for our child and making bottles for to, our I children. I went once upstairs right, to change my sorry, shirt. So the rest of the time, I was getting <laughs> things for our children. Uh, that was a, uh, an error in judgment on my part, too. My blinks are so loud. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that there was a sound effect that went bling, 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 bling every time I blink just now. Um, yeah, no, it was not for me. I changed my shirt. Right. The rest yeah. of the time I was No, you didn't need to go back into then so you could go to the bathroom or get some other thing. I went in to get water for, you. Yeah. for Flynn. <laughs> so anyway, we went to the store and... <laughs> We went to the store and it was just a wreck. Like, because I'm looking at clothes, the babies start fussing. I'm trying to look, and I'm not, I don't like clothes shopping really. And especially when it's for clothes that I don't really know much about. Like these, this is not my wheelhouse because it's not the clothes I would typically gravitate yeah, towards. So, so our so listeners was, like, were like, you should wear this outfit. So you looking for that sent you into a blind panic. Yes. To whereas like you panic. acted like you didn't know how human things work. Right. You're like, how do things, how do I look for things? And I was like, with your eyes. Like, well, you you, look no, you are insane. I was like, look around. No, you were crazy. What? You were like, <laughs> you were like. Ask someone for help. Oh, I was like, yeah. are you a lunatic? Uh, uh, Never. Well, no, because because you you like actively told me like, hey, my eyes and hands don't work. I don't know how to look at picture and then look if these clothes are in store. And I was like, oh, well, then like these many people that keep walking up to us saying, hey, you looking for anything special? Like you need any help? And you're just like, uh, uh, like I was like, maybe maybe respond to that human. Like, yes, this picture. 
And then nah. since they work there 40 hours a not week a can direct you to where that was, of course, not a chance. Not a chance. So like you so, then went off with Flynn, like finding clothes. And then I'm. No, I was with the babies. And then you were with Flynn. We alternated yeah. because it was like one was always harder than the other. Like Flynn at first was like wild. And so. And Flynn now no diaper is like IP in public, like in, in public <laughs> bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. And also like. I think he thinks like public bathrooms are like the funnest places on earth. He's he was like, like he lied. automatic paper towels, <laughs> yeah. automatic soap. Like, I just want to be in there. So he lied saying he, he, lied had, to he had to go to the bathroom again and he didn't. He like went pee. He came out. They found us. And then right when he goes, he's like, um, <laughs> I think I have to pee again. Right, I'm like, it was so fun in the bathroom because the paper towels, you just put your hand in. He thought, right. it, was, he thought it was an actual magic trick. Yeah. So anyway. It was chaos. The babies are screaming. Flynn was like, "I let's go over here. Let's." He was running around. You can't find me, which was terrifying me. I was like, "No, we don't run away in stores." He wasn't running away. He was the just like hiding. The outfit reveal anyway, is coming up. It's yeah, it is. Happen. It is. I'm just venting about this because I'm angry at you guys because you were like, "Oh, go get one of these outfits. Try to find it," and it put me in. I had to be in public, and I had to interact with so many people. So many people came up to me and were like, "Twins, what a blessing! You have your hands full, a boy and a girl." They just blurted out because they don't know what else to say. Everyone was losing their minds over the twins in the stroller as I'm like trying to shop for pleated shorts. It was so stressful. I'm Flynn screaming and running around, and so then finally I'm like, "Okay, I have all these clothes," and I was like, "I'm just going to buy them. I just know I'm going to try them on." And Eric's like, "Don't try them on. Just go in the dressing room." I was like, "Okay." So I, I was like, "I'll take Flynn in the dressing room." So I take Flynn in the dressing room with me and Eric's out with the twins. I can hear them through the entire department store. And I store was so far away from you. Screaming. Like I walked, I walked two football fields away from you with them. I could hear them screaming. And they're both having meltdowns, complete meltdowns. I'm like literally putting bottles in both their mouths as I'm walking the stroller with two babies in it. And I'm on the, the, uh, the woman's floor of this department store no sympathy. No one is offering me condolences or help or no one is saying anymore. Wow, you have your hands full. They're all ignoring my mm -hmm. existence, except for the undercover. I'm doing quote things with my fingers. Security person at this place because we have a, a double baby stroller with like a thing at the bottom and there was like lots of clothes. So like I put clothes at the bottom, I think that like red flagged us as like shoplifters, mm -hmm. which arguably on this podcast I've admitted to doing before and when I was <laughs> 17. So fair enough if they listened, but I don't think they did. No, I don't think so. But like I was then I was with two babies losing their minds, screaming as you're in the fitting room with Flynn trying on these clothes. The, those 20 minutes, 15 minutes, 10 minutes were the longest time of my life because they're losing their minds. I'm trying to feed them both slash walk them. They're not having it. They're ready for a nap. They're ready to go home, but also being followed around by this person who is like being so obvious, like that they thought I was You're stealing about to commit a felony. Oh God. Well, <clears throat> I never, I haven't even gotten to tell you yet what was going on in the dressing room. I never heard. So, was there anything? Yes. So Flynn was like, I saw him. <laughs> sorry, sorry to interrupt yeah, you. Well, but like when I did finally see you again, all I heard was like, no, Flynn, that's my shoe. I need that. And it was him running out of the dressing room. He ran holding away with a it. single converse. <laughs> like a way away. From like you. a football. Like running like across football. the field. So Flynn. And I see you with like half the door like swinging open, like trying to get on one shoe standing up. <laughs> Well, did you see how he gave it back to me too? I was like, I need my shoe. He and he threw it. it. <laughs> he threw it across the store. Uh, so see, now in hindsight, this day sounds kind of fun, but like when I lived it. Oh, you were, you looked, you, oh, you, me. you, do you know what you did? I'm just not remembering. What? You yelled across the entire, you <laughs> yelled something terrible and I can't remember what it was now. What? When I, when I opened the dressing door, I just remember going, I can't believe you just yelled that in a department store. What? You yelled something at me like, I. What would I, what would I possibly I was, yell? I what are you know. talking about? You were like, I, it wasn't this, but it was something along the lines like, I never want to see these babies again or something like that. It was like oh, something. I know, I know what it was. <laughs> what was I it? I said, I'm leaving this family. Yes. <laughs> That's what you said. I opened, he yelled it across the entire store. He said, I'm leaving this family. We're holding Screaming Wesley, trying to give a bottle to Screaming Maisie. Yeah, I'm pushing, Our son I'm pushing a two person stroller out. with one baby in it. 
trying to put a bottle of milk in the one baby in it while holding the other one who's screaming And then at me. our toddler's running Being at him. Being followed by security. Our who toddler's I'm running going at you with a shoe, then throws the shoe at my face. I know. And then you're like, I'm leaving this family. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what you- You laughed so hard at that. Because you yelled And I'm like, it. why is she laughing because so hard I wanted, at that? In case anyone heard it, I wanted them to know you were joking because oh. you, because you seemed like, very she, serious. I was like, she overly laughed at my joke, but now I'm realizing I screamed. Screamed it across the store. The entire store. Yeah. So anyway, in the dressing room, Flynn was so hyper. And he was like, just, I was like, how do I entertain this kid? I have to try on like 10 things. So everything I'm about to show you, I don't know if it fits. I I didn't really try anything we, on. Was there multiple? Or are we doing multiple? There's a reveals? couple outfits. Because... So, and I just ended up buying everything because I was like, I don't know what's going to fit or what's not. I'll return it later. This is chaos. I can hear the baby screaming. Flynn's losing, losing his mind. The only way I could get him to calm down and like chill for a second mm -hmm. and not, he was like smacking me in the booty and like just being crazy in there. Toddlers, when they have energy, when you say smacking the booty, they just want to go like they're just like, yeah, they're, like, just, like, they're just, just like shouting. Just like, blah, 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 yeah, just, just like running around. lots like, of that <laughs> in your face. So I literally would put on something and he would be like, mommy, what can we leave i don't want to be in this room mommy can we go somewhere else i want to go so i was like wait, wait Flynn, i got a really cool game i got a really cool game he's like what is it? i was like watch this i'm gonna put on clothes i'm gonna make a silly pose in the mirror and then it's your turn so what i would do is i'd put on an article of clothing uh -huh. and instead of looking at it like a normal human being if you're watching you'll be able to see i would go like this i'd put on like a pair of pants and i'd be like okay ready Flynn? <laughs> and like do the weirdest pose in the world in the mirror and he'd be like yeah i like that one i like that one i like that one mama but he'd be really serious about like if he liked my pose or not like he wouldn't laugh and he wasn't like it wasn't about the clothing it, it was wasn't about the clothing it was about the pose and he'd be like yeah mama i like that pose and he'd be really serious and be like now it's my turn and then he'd go up to the mirror to do it and he just stood there and he wouldn't change anything and then he'd look at me like did you like that one? And I'm like, yeah, that was a great pose. And I was like, what's he doing? And then finally, after like the third time doing it, he kind of pulled his mask down a little bit mm -hmm. while he's looking at himself in the mirror and he kind of had his tongue out. And I was like, oh, he's been doing faces with his mouth. <laughs> like he's been changing his mouth right. for his pose, but like we uh, couldn't see it because he was wearing the mask. That's so sad. So and he funny like, he like pulled time. his mask down a little yeah. so he could see his, his mouth change. He's like, was that a funny one, mom? I was like, oh, that was good. So anyway, I only tried on half these clothes. And I don't know if they fit. I don't know what they look like because it was chaos in there. That whole experience was a blur. It's, it was I have wild. no idea what we got. It was wild because like uh, people listening to this podcast recommended outfits that were age appropriate yet still your personality for you. And I feel like the key things that stuck in our heads were blazer mm -hmm. and pleated shorts. Which I don't think we got pleated shorts. And so it was just this like fever dream, baby crying nightmare of blazers and pleated shorts it that like such don't mess. exist. And also that wasn't even an outfit that was recommended. But OK, so I'm going to do the reveal now. But f first, we have to say thanks to our final sponsor, which is, of course, Daily Harvest. We love Daily do Harvest. Do they harvest things daily? Daily love. Daily. Daily Harvest has they been- They harvest on the daily. They harvest on the daily, and they're just a lifesaver, guys, because life gets crazy and hectic with family. We have a thousand kids. People always are telling us how many kids we have and how Our hard it is. Full. Our hands are full. Um, daily Harvest smoothies. And now they're full of Daily Harvest smoothies, that's for sure. They make our life so much easier. When the fridge is empty, it's very easy to give into that urge to just skip cooking and order a bunch of food that'll come soggy and gross. Mm -hmm. But thanks to Daily Harvest, we don't have to give into that takeout temptation anymore. Well, all the time. Or all the time. Yeah, we still do sometimes. But Daily Harvest helps us to not as much. Daily Harvest helps keep our freezer fully stocked with options that are delivered right to our door and are delicious, nourishing, and ready in minutes. Daily Harvest delivers delicious harvest bowls, soups, flatbreads, snacks, smoothies, lattes, and more built on organic fruits and vegetables. They have delicious options for any time of day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, and dessert. Everything is always on hand in your freezer and ready to enjoy when you need it. Dude, that strawberry peach smoothie though. I have a new favorite actually. <gasps> what is it? My new favorite is the banana almond cold brew cacao coconut pine pollen yeah. smoothie. I can't believe you memorized that 
the name of that drink. <laughs> no. well, yeah, well, I made a little song. I made a little song. <laughs> it was really it, nice, like, so I could remember it. it goes banana, almond, cold brew, cacao, coconut, pine, pollen. Well, they're they're gonna steal this and use it yeah, in commercials. Yeah, yeah, don't yeah. don't give it to them. Um, so anyway, with Daily Harvest, uh, we never have to question if the food we're eating is good for us. They create food that's both good for our health and the health of the planet by supporting farmers who invest in practices that increase biodiversity and improve the health of our soil and delivering food in recyclable and compostable packaging. Daily Harvest does the work. So all you have to do is eat it and go, mmm, and that's delicious. New on the scene is their delicious Harvest Bakes. For those moments when you're looking for homemade feels without any of the work, they're ready to bake veg packed dishes sizzling with gourmet level flavors that are big enough to share, but you're not going to want to because they're so yummy. Avoid the takeout temptation and get Daily Harvest. Go to dailyharvest.com slash relax to get up to $40 off your first box. That's dailyharvest.com slash relax for up to $40 off your first box. Dailyharvest.com slash relax. All right. So the plan was to come back from that that uh, sponsor dressed in my new outfit, but it seems as though I didn't really purchase a full outfit. I think I just bought blazers, lovey. I think I, think I just bought blazers. So... Here's the deal. I'm going to we're going to kind of talk it through on the podcast and we are going to put together an outfit, um, but we're just going to kind of talk about it for a minute. So I'm going to actually show the reference photos that I was pulling from when we were shopping. So the one picture that Eric really liked had like four different photos on it. It was very neutral colors, like kind of flowy, like um, pleated shorts, pleated pants, like beige, light browns, tans, whites, like earthy earthy tones Uh like very light breezy beautiful cover girl and so i was looking for pleated shorts couldn't find any pleated shorts i found a pair of pleated pants so i bought one also from this person i didn't see that one i'm just talking about the reference photos i went off of so i went off of that first one um that will be on the screen right now if you're watching um but if you're listening yeah it was just that very neutral pleated short baggy flowy top type of jam like um anyway so that was like kind of the first reference photo and then quite a few people suggested blazers like because Mm -hmm. you can wear a blazer over like you wear jeans and a graphic shirt tucked in with a blazer and you could wear heels and it's dressed up or sneakers and it's dressed down i think blazers for girls was a big thing like 10 years ago yeah i guess maybe it's maybe it's back or maybe it's just no it's coming back but i feel like i like it for you if you're going to wear your own merch T-shirt, if you had a blazer over it, let's know. say like some sort of event thing. I don't it know. Makes I, sense. I feel like I'm, I'm what I wanted to answer to was like, what do people my age wear? My demographic, my age wear. And I did get that answer. But I did see someone say like, hey, how you dress when you're pregnant really suits your personality. Like rompers and overalls. Like it seems very you. And I feel like it like suits your age. Mm-hmm. Like to like. And overalls. my personality. Overalls, it suits my age and my personality. And like women wear overalls. Okay. Oh my God. Blazers do not scream Colleen Ballinger. I, well, I mean, at all. It, when we posed this question last week, I did not expect the response to be pleated blazers. shorts and blazers. Well, I got what you guys suggested, but these are so not. I could never see myself just casually wearing and a blazer. And it was absolute chaos as we described. Yeah. I would wear a blazer maybe to like a pitch meeting or something. Like I'm glad I have them because like I could wear them at a business meeting, but like why, I would why never you, wear. Okay, anyway. We so don't have a lot of time left. So why don't oh, yes, you okay. go through one and then we'll re- so, okay. reveal it. Here's what we got. We have this like, it's like a light blue baggy blazer, but didn't get anything else for this outfit. So I don't know what I would wear with this. Jeans, I guess. And like. Let's do jeans and your own merch with that. Jeans and my own merch. So and women this are incredible. Jeans, baggy blazer, and that who right. makes that one. This one is from All Saints, which was also this was all so expensive. It was so annoying to me because I hate spending money on clothes. It was like I was like, this is too expensive about everything, and it was a mess. Anyway, I'm gonna put it on. Do I? Is there an edit where I throw it at you? No, and then there's it's not. All of a sudden, on no, there, it's not. not in this world. No, it's not. Okay, time out. Okay, so if you're listening, uh, just know I'm now wearing the first outfit, which I think looks so dumb, I and I would never great. wear this. It's literally just what I would always wear, which is like jeans and my, a, just my with shirt a, with like a tucked cool, in, but fancy with like a blazer. blazer over it. Yeah, but I would never, I would never do this. I think it looks I'm so ready weird. for your TED talk, dude. No, Explain I wouldn't it do to it. Me. So this is the first. Make it make one. sense. Like I like this. I'm into it. 
I don't professor, like it. Professor, Professor Bellinger. Um, it's just not me. Like exactly. Like I'm not a professor. Like I'm like I'm Miranda Sings. Like this is so not my vibe. But anyway, let's go to the next one. So the next no, one. No, I like. I like. Maybe this. It's the wrong shirt under it then. And but Perhaps. I do. I do like the. I do like the blazer. I will say. I will argue in on behalf of the blazer. I like it. I feel like it ages me twenty years. It doesn't. I don't um, think it does. I think it's age appropriate. The next one is pleated pants. They're like a light pale yellow, high-waisted, like pleated pants. You wanted pleats, you get pleats. You guys wanted pleats. And we've got just like a white t-shirt that Eric has given me. This is his t-shirt to put on with that because I didn't buy a shirt. And another blazer that Eric found. This one is like um got all that time, brown all that and money pink. that's all we got was two blazers. Know, what? <laughs> and it's like a brown and pink and white, like kind of what would you, it's not like checkered, like a it's like a what would you call this for the people listening? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to describe pattern. it. A pattern. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I'm going to put that on right now. And you guys are going to tell us if you like that one. So give me a sec. Oh, my God. This next one is so bad. I look like a clown. You're, you're an idiot. So it looks look like great. a clown outfit. I love it. I think. So I'm wearing these yellow pleated pants that are too long. I guess you're supposed to be wearing heels with them or something. But they're high-waisted. And this this blazer, I will say, is really comfortable. It's really soft. It feels really very expensive. But it's, I think it was. but it's not, I would never, ever wear this. I think, I think it doesn't look, match. I look like a clown. So hold on. Let me take off see, the blazer. I think class. <laughs> no, stop. Let I me think, just take it off for a second. I Relax. Think, I think class is in, in session, dude. Like, I think you look great. No, there's nothing about this I would ever want on my body. Oh. It's, it's so not, see, this is. See, That's okay. I just feel like I just look like a substitute teacher when I put this stuff on. It doesn't feel like me. It just feels like Fair I'm enough. trying to it's look you, older. It's your, it's your person. If that's, but I think you look, I, I like it. I'm, I'm into it. You want me to wear blazers? I don't know. I just think it, it's just, it, I, I think it looks good. Like what you were wearing. I think it looked cool and good. Well, and and uh, if you were like uh, my professor, mm -hmm. I would pay attention. You know, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I like. Well, it. I have one other thing to show you. So last was, week you were talking about. Okay. Last week you were talking about. Um, oh, so this is the makeover. Thanks for the makeover, guys. Last week you were talking about uh, how uh, in it, in high school we would have pants with like lots of pockets on them, and now it seems as though we went to an urban outfitters. Cargo pockets. Cargo yes. pockets. It seemed like they were on pants again now, but they're like way lower than they used to be when we were kids. And so I, I was kind of being facetious like i like i'd seen it on a couple but like it's real isn't it it is so i found a pair and i bought them and i'm gonna put them on for you and you're not returning any of this stuff by the way i'm returning it all you're not returning any and of this stuff. listen to this i saw a comment when I, was, when I was looking for relaxes from the audience i saw a comment that said you guys should dress like you did in high school and i was like oh, oh that's really fun so next week no, I want to do that. We're going to dress like we dressed in high school. That's terrible. It's going to be so it's good. It's going to be really awful. Uh, my outfit's going to be awful. You're just going to look like a skater boy, um, which is so See you cute. Later, boy. But in honor of that, I bought these pants that are kind of an homage to like, you know, they're kind of like a nice little nod to what kind of what my sister wore her whole childhood. But they're like cargo pants. These are all saints again with like the pox on the side. So I'm going to put them on. That must if. They must be cool again. They are then. cool again. Wait, why are the on. cargo? This is what I was talking about. Why are the cargo pockets so low? I don't know. Talk about it. Talk about it. Okay. If you're a person, which they probably are, they're listening. And if you're listening, you are, and you necessitated a cargo pocket. Uh, I I guess it would be for cargo. Uh, Colleen is saying bouncy balls and quarters. <laughs> for me, it would be um chapstick or uh paraphernalia but for you you're saying bouncy balls here we go these pants first of all i'm into it i like it you like maybe it just because it's different all of this stuff i'm very into but maybe just because it's, it's different. not the same thing i wear every single day of my life right i think maybe well these what's well, it here's the thing here's what i'm gonna say it's an attempt and these... i'm not saying you don't attempt but like you don't really attempt like you don't veer from like what's what's uh in your comfort zone right um, and you don't you don't press well, boundaries don't of fashion. You literally just wear. I don't know anything about my t-shirts and leggings. I don't know anything about fashion or t-shirts that have your face on them and jeans. And a lot of fashion right now is like I was seeing you in clothes that aren't your clothes. Sorry, I know I'm interrupting you. 
It's fine. It's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing you in clothes that aren't your clothes is exciting. I'll, like, okay, it's it's an insecurity thing because like I feel like my body looks so weird and everything because it's like the high waisted pants and crop tops. Well, my skin looks a lot different now. Those twins stretch me out so much. It's like crop tops are kind of out for me now. So I'm like, okay, I just tuck shirts into my high waisted jeans. But what kind of jeans are we wearing? I don't know. I know that most jeans don't really look good on me. So I'm like, I feel very limited in what I can wear that I like feel confident in. I want you to feel confident. So like, I'm sorry if I'm hampering that. Well, I That's don't feel I'm confident saying. in a blazer. I'll tell you that much. Why I feel like I look should? really you, old in a blazer. You look like a boss. Like I feel like I look like a teacher. Tell me what to do. Oh my Put on God. a blazer. Just instruct me. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest. What? Never wore cargo pants my whole life. That was very my sister's thing. I was tights and dresses and skirts. Gal, Rachel was. Are like, you very excited about the possibilities? I love these pants. Yes, because they're so comfortable. They're like thin and cozy, you really soft. You, we should also say, as far as fashion goes, that you don't buy nice things. Never, not a thing. I don't own any nice anything. It's as far as clothes go, like no nice clothes. So I will say these pants. I like them. I have no idea how. What shoes would you wear with something like this? What shirt would you wear with something like shoes. this? Shoes. I don't know how that all that part goes. And then I get overwhelmed. So even if I do find a skirt or pants or shorts or a shirt that I like, that's different than what I normally wear, I get overwhelmed by the rest of the outfit. Just go for funk. Don't even like think about it. What do you mean? So what would you dress dress me in this? What would you do with these pants? Yeah. If you and then you just bought these weird, very you were very excited about these chunky Converse you just bought. Converse don't go with this. Yeah, for sure. If they're high top, maybe. No, there's no rules. There are rules. Have fun. Live your life. No, because I have long legs, so these are really short. They're like almost like long legs, almost like short capris. legs. Go crazy. What do you oh mean? My like God. be weird. I don't know what I would wear with this. I don't know how because right now with a white shirt tucked into it, I feel like I'm g- about to go be an army kid. Well, like just, I'm about well, to go like you are, boot camp. Because that's literally it just came out of a box, like a random large men's white t-shirt. Like it's not your shirt. Like But what shirt do you wear with pants like these? Go crazy, dude. Find the weirdest thing. You know what I mean? Just have Come fun. On. Anyway, express I don't know yourself. How, I don't know. How, but I can't express myself when I don't understand clothes. My, I do express myself in my clothes. I, I wear what's like I'm It's not how you express yourself as fashion. No way. Yeah. I do not express myself through fashion. I express myself through performing, I guess. And like. We'll copy and paste my, this to your my, therapy this week. And maybe yeah. like you guys okay. will come up with something. I don't know. Okay, we'll talk about it later. But anyway, thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for dressing and me. And what's happening next week? We're dressing like we did. In high school. Oh, that's going to be yeah, bad. It's going to be great. So we'll see you guys next week. Were we recording this? I don't know. Did I push record? Good night. Colleen and Derek have a podcast. The world is scary and we're locked in our home. But now we have big microphones. So you can relax. That's the name of our podcast.